I wonder what the next level will be called. Maybe it'll be like Gloomy Galleon or something. Let's just head in through the gate that the beam had to destroy that my grenade eggs could not destroy for some reason. Which your world would have surprised. But yeah, speaking of gates that uh, magical beams can destroy and grenades can't, how about that one? Yeah, you try to hit me with a hammer, I hit you with a bird. Who's more badass? And this is the worst case of jiggle physics that nobody ever asked for. Oh my god. <laughs> but, oh, and, my, and like Mrs. Bottles, uh, this character has no name of her own. She's just Mrs. her husband's name. My god, look at those things. But, um, yeah, she's got the three kids who... One of them has become fat, and one of them has gotten a gender change since the last game. You gotta find them in random places throughout the park. And here we've got a health code violation. Could you talk a little slower, jeez. Oh, and check this out. Jiggy Watts. Totally a Back to the Future reference. And there's one of the kids. And incidentally, it's the easiest one to get. That's strange. Yeah, this one's just kind of a annoying little kid. He just sort of runs around and then you basically just beat... <coughs> no, I don't want to talk to you. I'm trying to hit you. He's got to beat the shit out of him and then he runs back. I must use the Brigol Bash whenever possible. Okay, that was an interesting preview. Uh, there, can't get in there. We need it because it's behind a van door. We need a van to get in there. I'm going to be driving around a van in this level, or not. Here's a bright red light of no real significance. Here's a mumbo pad of no real significance. Which apparently is the first time I've touched one. That doesn't make much sense. Whatever. Just go up here, get a couple notes. That's... <clears throat> and I fell. Awesome. Don't know how I did that. Just get the freaking notes. Okay, we're done here. Ticket booth, nothing in there. Although I have to say that blocked open, I mean that like boarded open door, boarded shut door, I can't talk, um, was the perfect size for a stop and swap egg, and yet it isn't a place for one. Anyway, here we've got these little slot machine things that are holding on to tickets, which you gotta collect. And for really stupid reasons, you need two tickets. I mean, I mean you need four tickets. Two would make sense, because it's Banjo and Kazooie. I don't know why you need four, whatever. So, this is the disgusting burger maker, as you can see. I think they did everything in their power to make him gross, but it's awesome. So you get some nasty burgers, and you don't get any nasty fries. How unfortunate. I love this dialogue. It's like completely unnecessary to the game, but it's so funny they, they couldn't not put it in. So, yeah, every single one of those has a ticket. It's very easy and uninspired, really. Here is a completely pointless place. Well, not completely pointless, but nearly. Grunty's just in there. And you win crap that you don't need. You can just keep going in it and keep winning crap that you don't need. Let's see what I get this time. Yeah, sometimes you win a beating. Obviously the best of the prizes, and then it closes off for a while, for no purpose other than to annoy you. There is an extra special prize you can get from it, but it's very rare and it isn't really that great. Um, before I continue circling around, here is... Did I activate the warp at the beginning of the level? I hope I did. 
This is the split up. Separate skills are what you lack, so let's get Kazooie out of your pack. Find your pet is what you do. Pressing A makes one become two. Whatever, I shouldn't be singing along to those. Oh yeah, he heals you if you're hurt. I hasn't come into play before. Not a huge deal. But yeah, I'll be utilizing those uh, later on. I don't really need to now. However, I will point out uh, how they say go and bri And the mumbo pad says Ecombokum on the side. So there's the fry stand. The burger switch was pretty far away from the burger stand. This one, however, is not. This, yeah, this guy loves his job, you can tell. And Adam Grunty's open again, I don't care, because I'd probably end up having to do that thing a hundred times before I get the special thing. So, I'll just probably save and, like, show that at the start of another segment, I guess. Limp Salty Fries, sounds delicious. Um, yeah. Especially since it's a closed-down theme park. Or amusement park. I don't know if it's a theme park, because it doesn't really have any underlying theme. It has a few different themes. Okay, that's the last of the tickets. This is the last of the notes surrounding the big top. Um... While I'm here, I guess I might as well go on top of the big top, if I can. It's kind of hard, you got to run up these ropes, and it's not the easiest thing in the world, but I did it anyway. There's some shoes I can't use, here's a Jinjo, and let's see, where do I want to go first? The Space Zone, the Scary Zone, or the West Zone? I usually start with the West Zone, I guess because it's the least interesting. I don't know why I always start with the West Zone, so let's just, whatever, I'm gonna do that anyway. So we'll head over there, and I always thought those things shot pizzas at you, but they're coins, I don't know why I would think they were pizzas. And here's the Cactus of Strength, which, um, it's a Cactus of Strength. I could do it now, but for reasons that I'm not even sure of, I'm going to wait until later because that's what you would normally do if you didn't have a guide or you didn't have previous knowledge of the game. Because you got to do something very specific to raise the bell to the top. And you'd think that doing this would help, but it's not, because that's like a bonus move and it doesn't have any practical purpose in the game. So we're just heading up here, not going to go into the crazy castle, whatever it's called. Oh man. Random stop honeycomb. These things are annoying. I usually don't pick them up. Um, yeah, that you're, it just sort of dances around. You gotta try to stop when it's full. Like that. And every time you pick one up, it gets faster. So eventually it's just gonna be flickering all over the place and there's not much you can do about it. Here, I'm just trying to get to another warp pad so I don't have to climb all the way up here again later. There we go, here's Humbuzz Wigwam, not gonna go in there. I'll do that later on. I'll just head into the crazy castle. There's some stuff you can do in here. Who would have thought? Y you'd think it would be a completely pointless area. And here's an the next kid. Like I said, they're randomly placed. There's like a few places they can spawn in, and which kid appears in which place is also random. So, whatever, you give her the fries, and she runs back and pushes you out of the way. How rude. The last one is the one that causes a problem. You'll see why when I show it. Um, oh, and here, let's just go get this Jinjo. Oh my god, how unexpected. Yeah, if you didn't know that, there's evil Jinjos now, called Minjos. And they like to wreck your shit up. Usually, if you find a Jinjo in a very easy location, you can assume that it's going to be a Minjo, because the Jinjos are slightly harder to reach. And why can't I... What, what just happened? Whatever. Uh, let's go in the pump room, I guess. Or, let's not go in the pump room, I guess. 
I don't know what I'm doing here. I got another minute left, but that's not really enough to do anything. But so yeah, this is our first instance of splitting up. It's not that glamorous, but it is a very cool thing that comes into effect throughout the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna be Kazooie here, cause she's faster, and there's a move that only Kazooie can learn over here. And I'll just finish off the segment with this. What? Oh, never mind. I was confusing this with a different move, I'm sorry. Okay, um... Yeah, I could go back and do that, but I'm out of time anyway, so... Let's just, e let's just end the segment with my idiocy. Next time, I'll be doing stuff with this deflated castle. <laughs>